Hello and welcome to the day 12 of Bakemas 2019 and today we are going to make eggless buttermilk fruit cake and this is what it looks like Now this is a wonderfully moist and tender cake and it's full of ground spices and dried and candied fruits So first thing you will need is to preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then you will need a loaf pan and we are going to butter it and flour it so i'll take a little bit of melted butter and with my pastry brush i'm going to grease the inside of the pan now you can also use those non stick sprays so once you butter it uh, then uh, put a little bit of flour and just move the flour around the inside of the pan and then just tap it and all the extra flour is out and this is your ready pan so this is a really easy fruit cake it's a quick bread so you don't need any electric mixer just use your hands and wet ingredients and dry ingredients mix them together and we are done so for the dry ingredients in a bowl we need 1 and 1/2 cups of all purpose flour and to that i'm going to add about 1 teaspoon of baking soda the tidings we bring to you and your kid we wish you a merry christmas half a teaspoon of salt Three quarters of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half teaspoon of grated nutmeg, quarter of a teaspoon of ground ginger. Now you can also add a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cloves. I'm just going to whisk that. Just make sure that everything is mixed together. And then we are going to add in here uh, some dried and candied fruits. Uh, you can uh, really vary this according to your uh, personal choice. So I have some raisins, some dried cranberries, then walnuts, almonds, strawberries, then blueberries, and some dried cherries. So uh, I like the mixture of both dry and uh, candied ones. So I'm using uh, these dry fruits plus some candied fruits into this, and you can also uh, use dates, dried figs, dried apricots, prunes, really kind of whatever you like. Then I also have some mixture of candied peel, the tutti frutti that we call, and we need two cups of this in total. And depends upon what you have with you, mix this all together. I think uh, it's better to do this with my hands. You want to uh, coat all the fruit with the flour. Now you can also dip your fruit in some orange juice uh, or rum uh, a day before if you want to. Uh, but basically, I'm making this cake for those who don't like uh, eggs and booze in their cakes, in their Christmas cake, and those who like their cake with some booze. can refer to my other uh, cake videos i'll be linking it somewhere on the screen so for our wet ingredients uh, in a separate bowl i have 3 quarters of a cup of light brown sugar just uh, check for the lumps
and then uh, you will need half a cup of butter now you have to melt your butter and let it cool down to the room temperature now whisk that and for flavoring add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract now if you want to uh, leave that leave this out you could do that and then we are uh, going to add 1 cup of buttermilk now you can buy it or you can make your own uh, buttermilk uh, what you have to do is take 1 cup of milk and stir in 1 tablespoon of lemon juice or vinegar and let it stand for about 10 minutes and you have your buttermilk ready so add in your buttermilk just mix just stir it together and uh, then uh, make a well at the center of your dry ingredients and just pour your wet ingredients into that and stir together and we are done now you can see this you can make the fruit cake at any time of the year but uh, christmas is always a special time now this one is the one you can make any time and you can serve it the same day so this is not the one where you have to brush the fruits with alcohol for several weeks now for that kind of cake click on the link on the screen for that recipe and this is for the last minute cook so stir together and now we are done so just pour this in your prepared pan and once this is done uh, smoothen the top and then we'll bake this now to bake this uh, i will say that everyone's oven is a bit different uh, so i find somewhere between 50 to 60 minutes so uh, it will rise it will turn beautifully golden brown and uh, toothpick inserted in the center will come out clean and you will also start to see the sides uh, uh, they will shrink from the sides of the pan the cake edges will start shrinking from the sides of the pan so somewhere between 50 to 60 minutes just smoothen the top with your spatula or back of the spoon tap it and into the oven just keep a check after 50 minutes so somewhere between 50 to 60 minutes okay so our eggless buttermilk fruit cake is done you can see the golden brown color it's beautiful and it has started to pull away uh, from the sides so just let this cool in the pan for 10 minutes and uh, when we come back we will take this out of the pan so it's been uh, 10 minutes and now to take this out of the pan you have to take a spatula or a knife and then uh, run it around the inside of the pan just to make sure it's not sticking and it's free from the sides we wish you a merry christmas we wish you a merry christmas. and then we wish you a merry christmas and a happy new year just flip it just give few taps 
and there we have it so our fruit cake it's still warm uh, I'm going to let this cool down for another 10 minutes and when we come back we will cut this down okay so now let me just cut this So there we have, oh this looks gorgeous. Now all the fruits peeping out of the slice. So I've got another slice out of this. Now it's still warm. Now you can serve this warm room temperature, cold, whichever uh, way you want and it's very good with butter. So now let me have a piece. Mm. It's a very flavorful uh, bread. Very moist and tender because of that buttermilk. And, then, and I like that we have used a variety of dried fruits and candy fruits. It has given the cake a lot of flavor and of course the spices. A really great quick bread when you want a fruit cake but you don't want to do a lot of work. Now this is the one for you so try and if you try share the picture with me on my Instagram with the hashtag bake with Dipali. So until next time this is Dipali from dipaliori.com. Merry Christmas.